Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing an in-depth review and playtest of the Yonix V-Core 98. Before we get started, I did want to let you know that this is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid by Yonix or anyone else to discuss this racket. With that said, let's get started with the V-Core 98 specs so you know exactly what you're getting with this frame. Now in its 6th generation, the 2021 V-Core series continues its reputation as a fast swinging and spin friendly racket. The V-Core 98 comes in your standard length of 27 inches with a slightly smaller, more control oriented head size of 98 square inches and a 16 by 19 string pattern. The racket's unstrung weight falls at a maneuverable 10.8 ounces or 305 grams. Yonix does a great job at sticking to spec, and the racket I have on hand weighs 10.72 ounces or 304 grams, which is virtually spot on. For the strung weight, you can add 18 or so grams depending on your string of choice. You'll also find its swing weight when strung comes in at 325. The V-Core 98 offers a 9-point headlight balance at 31.5 centimeters unstrung which drops to 6 points headlight at 32.4 centimeters with strings installed. As for its stiffness, the V-Core 98 has a mid-range RA rating of 66. Finally, the racket has a variable width beam that per my measurements is 21.5 millimeters at the throat, 23.4 millimeters at 3 and 9 o'clock on the racket's head, and 22.9 millimeters at the top. As usual, if you're looking to dive deeper on any of these specs, I'd encourage you to check out my guides on these topics, which I've linked in the video's description. The latest version of the V-Core 98 introduces a handful of new technologies for enhanced performance, while retaining some of the key ingredients from past models. However, before jumping in, keep in mind that while it's useful to learn about the intentions behind the tech, what really matters is how a racket feels. So if possible, I'd encourage you to try or demo a racket before buying to form your own opinions. To kick things off, the racket features Yonix's distinct isometric or square-shaped head design for a 7% larger sweet spot compared to your standard round frame design. Interestingly enough, rackets from Yonix seem to look less and less square these days, which I imagine has been intentional for a more traditional aesthetic. The V-Core 98 also has a linear tech grommet system which reduces the angle for drilling select grommets to enhance string movement for spin while expanding the horizontal sweet spot for power and comfort. For aerodynamics and enhanced swing speed, the latest generation also incorporates Yonix Aero Trench, which embeds or submerges the grommets below the edge of the frame to reduce drag. Similarly, the frame's Aerofin tech at the top of the hoop and just above the racket's throat reduces air resistance for faster racket head speed a key contributor to the amount of topspin that a player can generate. Finally, the frame's New Age Flex Force Graphite integrated into the racket's midsection enhances flex and snapback for improved topspin, while vibration dampening mesh wraps the graphite in the handle to reduce vibration and improve comfort and feel. Overall, the Yonix V-Core 98 is a solid looking racket and they continue with the red theme that's been a constant since they first launched the line back in 2011. However, for a fresh look, you'll now get a touch of blue throughout, while darker red areas of the frame feature brighter red paint speckles. For the main logo on the throat and a few other areas, Yonix includes some silver highlights with a bit of shimmer. Although red isn't one of my favorite colors, I do like this brighter shade. Plus, I wouldn't be surprised if they introduce another color, like the galaxy black option that was available for the prior generation. The recommended tension range for the Yonix V-Core 98 is 45 to 60 pounds. For my playtest, I strung with 1.25mm polytor spin at 52 pounds or 23.6 kilograms. It's a shaped, five-sided poly that will enhance the racket's spin-friendly characteristics, while also offering exceptional control and above-average tension maintenance for a polyester tennis string. Now that you know exactly what to expect from the Yonix V-Core 98 specs and technologies, let's jump into my playtest and review.
Before we jump in, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on this racket. On ground strokes, the V-Core 98 packs a solid punch. Although the racket is far from overpowering, the frame's tight response and forgiving sweet spot are evident even when paired with a low-powered string like Polytor Spin. One of the racket's highlight features is top spin, and it performs well in this area. But with a 98 square inch head, you're going to get a bit more of a balanced performance. With that in mind, I'd strongly encourage players coming to this racket for its spin to also consider the V-Core 100. As for feel, I thought the weight and balance were ideal. It kept the racket swinging fast while remaining stable through contact. Furthermore, with a mid-range stiffness, the racket plays with moderate comfort, which will be influenced heavily by your string selection. At the net, I was pleasantly surprised by the V-Core 98. Its six-point headlight balance makes it easy to maneuver, and I found its weight, head size, and overall lively response to pair well and remain stable against extra pace. One of the downsides with a low-powered string like Polytor Spin is that you typically have to work a bit harder for pace at net, which can give your opponent more time to reply. However, I thought the V-Core 98 handled well paired with this string, and I'm confident it would improve as I dialed in my preferred setup. As for touch volleys, I found the racket to handle reasonably well and required minimal adjustment to find a rhythm. On serves, the V-Core 98 is an adequate performer. It's accurate, offers generous power for its head size, and allows for plenty of variety, so I think it'll work well for many players in this department. Not surprisingly, I found serving to be the racket's least forgiving area of performance, which, coupled with a poly, is where I'd expect players to encounter issues if they struggle with arm discomfort. Hitting returns, I thought the V-Core 98 offered reliable performance. It's quick on the backswing to set your position and stable enough on contact to manage bigger serves. Throughout my playtest, I felt I could deliver controlled and well-placed replies, aided by the frame's extra spin potential, which helps instill confidence to step into the court. Overall, I think this is one area where smaller, more control-oriented head sizes tend to work well, and the V-Core 98 is no exception. Overall, I think the latest version of the V-Core 98 is an excellent update to an already popular frame, which I expect to impress the prior generation's users, and for many will be a worthy upgrade. It's well suited for aggressive, intermediate to advanced baseliners that appreciate the extra spin and power potential a frame can deliver, but who are just as comfortable transitioning to net when the opportunity arises. If you're a beginner or comfort is high on your list of priorities, I'd encourage you to look elsewhere as there are more ideal frames for both groups. The V-Core 98 and Ezo 98 are two popular models from Yonix, both of which are excellent frames which cater to slightly different audiences. For starters, let's do a quick spec comparison. As you can see, they're pretty similar rackets on paper, with minimal variation in weight, balance, stiffness, and beam width. However, on the court, there are a few distinct differences between their performance. First, I find the V-Core 98 to offer a bit of added power, spin, and stability. Not by a large margin, but easily discernible. Beyond that, I'd give the E-Zone the edge in pretty much every other area. I prefer its feel, more comfortable response, and find it offers a bit more precision and control. Overall, that translates to a more well-rounded performance, which I find easier to recommend. To be clear, that's not to say the V-Core 98 is a poor racket by any stretch. I'm impressed with the update that I think outshines the previous generation, but I find the Ezo 98 is better suited for my game. If you'd like to learn more about the Yonix V-Core 98, be sure to check out my full write-up which I've linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.